próximo palestrante é o Dr. Kazuyoshi Yagishita. Ele é médico, membro da Sociedade Japonesa de Medicina Hiperbárica, professor da Tokyo Medical and Dental University, PhD pela mesma universidade, membro do Conselho Administrativo da Sociedade Japonesa de Medicina do Esporte e médico do Comitê Olímpico Japonês. O Dr. Kazuyoshi vai falar sobre o tema Uso da Câmara Hiperbárica por Atletas. It is my great honor to be invited to have a presentation in the fifth orthopedics and sports medicine annual congress from Japan. My name is Kazuyoshi Agishita from Hyperbaric Medical Center and Tokyo Medical and Dental University in Tokyo. I would like to appreciate you all for your kind preparation and even if we're meeting. It is my great pleasure to show the HBO rational for athlete in this presentation and the title is Why do athletes use hyperbaric oxygen therapy? And I have no financial relationships to disclosure. Our multiplace HBO chamber was built in 2001. Our chamber is consisted from three rooms and this chamber were capable for maximum 16 persons. Treatment strategy for top athletes are as fast as possible, as higher as possible, and treat safely. Today's talk is about First, the effect of HBO for soft tissue injury with athletes from the aspects of clinical base, clinical and the basic researches. Second, contusion rat skeletal muscle injury model from the aspects of edema and the inflammation and from the aspects of angiogenesis. And third, HBO and the and Olympic Games. HBO is trying to be used to promote rapid recovery from sports-related soft, soft tissue injuries. Some quick clinical basic research was reported. HBO may accelerate recovery from sports injuries. However, mechanism of action is largely unknown and the clinical data is not sufficient. More clinical and basic research is needed now. The effects of HBO for soft tissue injuries with athletes are thought to be oxygenation at edema site, reduction of edema and the pain at the acute phase, and acceleration for repair and recovery. This is the case with right ankle sprain. The edema can be seen around right ankle joint, TCPO2, was measured and the TCPO2 at right ankle was 18.6 millimeter Hg and, the, and that at left was 57.4. The injured side was observed as a hypoxia status. We use the drop map method in basic research. The red calf muscle was fixed with needles and the cylinder was dropped onto the calf muscle. By this method, swelling of the calf can be observed following contusion. Intermuscle oxygen tension in contusion muscle injury was measured by means of needle electrode. I show a case. Intermuscle oxygen tension in muscle contusion injury was 18 millimeter Hg just after injury. During HBO, oxygen tension increased up to 540, and after finishing HBO, oxygen tension decreased to 43, which is normal level. At, and after that, oxygen tension maintained at 43 for one hour. Oxygen tension decreased just after muscle contusion injury, and only one time HBO 
in red significantly recovered the oxygen danger at normal level. And one time HBO maintained the normal level of oxygen tension after that. Reduction of edema and pain at the acute phase. This is a case of a couple made this location injured by judo. She was candidate for Olympic Games. She admitted to the other, uh, other hospital and the injured site was immobilized by cats. But due to her remaining edema, she was referred to our hospital to receive HBO. As you see, after post three time HBO, significant edema reduction was observed. We investigated the effects of HBO on anchor sprain. We, uh, HBO protocol was 2.5 ATA for 60 minutes or three to five times. Put an ankle volume and the visual scale baths on the same day were compared. Put an ankle volume was measured by water filled volume gauge, which can measure, uh, which can measure volume to the 16.5 centimeter height from the plantar face. Results. For an ankle volume at fully HBO was 1561.8 cm3 and post HBO was 1547.5 cm3, which meant significant 14 cm3 of volume reduction. We used the drop mass method as well. We measured uh, the uh, leg volume by micro CT evaluation. Volume reduction from swelling was observed with one to three days uh, from injury. Limb volume returned to the baseline level at three days in HBO and five days in the control group. HBO was effective for earlier recovery to the baseline volume. Vascular permeability was measured by absorbance method. Evans Blue dye is high affinity to combine the albumin. Evans Blue dye was injected intravascular. To evaluate vascular permeability, absorbance Evans Blue in muscle was measured, which meant albumin leakage to the injured site. Absorbance value of Evans Wool in injured group, both MT group and HBO group, were higher than that in the intact group. Absorbance value of Evans Wool in HBO group is lower than that in MT group. Vascular permeability increase in the injured group, but HBO reduced the acceleration of vascular permeability. Wet weight of the injured muscle was analyzed at time points. Wet weights were decreased at 24 hours, three days, and increased at seven days in the HBO groups. Acceleration for repair and recovery. We investigated the clinical cases with medial collateral ligament MCL injury of the knee. The subjects were professional or semi-professional rugby athletes with a second grade MCL injury. 16 cases in the HBO group and the 16 cases in the control group were compared about the recovery time to return to play. Recovery time to return to play in the control group was 42.1 days and in the HBO group was 31.4 days, which meant 25% recovery time reduction. It's a very tremendous results. About skeletal muscle injury, 
in skeletal muscle after uh, contusion, first, inflammatory cytokines are induced. Second, vascular permeability is increased, swelling, and the circulatory disorder occurs. And third, capillary vessels are relaxed by drug. Edema and the tissue hypoxia occurs as a result of increased EGF accumulation and local circulatory dysfunction. Tissue hypoxia itself leads to inflammation and the secondary tissue damage. The drug mass method. Centrally located nuclei were considered to be regenerated muscle fiber. The number of regenerated muscle fiber at day five were more in the HBO group. For measurement of muscle tension, fast twitch and the tetanus were measured. The ratio of injured and the non-injured at day five and day seven were evaluated. HBO recovered the muscle tension at the injured sites to the same level of the control at day seven in both methods of fast twitch and the tetanus. During the muscle regeneration process, neutrophils and the injured muscle activate satellite cells BRIL6. Circulating monocyte in blood vessel differentiated to monocyte, uh, differentiate to MR macrophage in tissue and MR macrophage stimulate satellite cell proliferation. MR macrophage converts to N2 macrophage and differentiate satellite cells and stimulate muscle regeneration. Circulating CD11B positive cell was significantly highly higher in the NP group at 6 hours and 24 hours. Circulating CD68 positive cells were significantly higher in the HBO group at 24 hours. HBO reduced circulating inflammatory cells and induced recovery of circulating monocytes which were expected to differentiate into macrophages into the angel of tissue. The peak infiltration of CD68 positive cells into the injury site occurs two days earlier in the HBO group, which meant the early infiltration of a macrophage into injured muscle. The number of CD163 positive cells in the HBO group was significantly increased at seven days. And the number of CD206 positive cells in the HBO group was significantly increased at three days and five days, which meant the early conversion from M1 to M2 macrophage. HBO accelerated the peak of macrophage infiltration and the induced higher inflammation of anti-inflammatory macrophages in the injured muscles. In satellite cells, the number of crescent satellite cells in the injured muscle was significantly higher in the HBO group at three days and five days. The number of proliferating satellite cells was significantly higher in the HPO group at one day and three days, and the number of differentiated satellite cells was significantly higher in the HPO group at three days and five days. HPO accelerated satellite cell proliferation and the differentiation. IL6 and an inflammatory cytokine and injury itself induce IL-6 expression. IL-6 is one, myo, one of myokines. Sub-3 is a signal substance of IL-6 and is transported into nuclei by phosphorylation. 
the tree is a trigger to activation of satellite cells, and it has an um, it has an anti-inflammatory effect. IL-6 increased after injury and peaked at three hours in the HPL group. Significantly lower level of total stuff B were present in the HPL group than in the NT group at three hours and six hours. The ratio of phosphoryl to total stuff B was significantly higher at three hours in the HBO group. HBO accelerated IL-6 synthesis and activated at the IL-6 statically pathway. In summary, the effects of HBO are oxygenation at injured muscle, activation of IL-6 statically pathway, decrease of circulating neutrophil, improvement of vascular permeability, reduction of muscle wet weight, increase of macrophage conversion from M1 to M2, activation of early proliferation of satellite cells, acceleration of muscle regeneration and the regenerated muscle fiber increase in the mass tension. We reported the effects of HBO on angiogenesis and the muscle regeneration in scientific reports in this year. In previous reports, VGF increased at six hours proliferation of anterior cells at three days and immature vessels at five days, mature vessels at seven to 14 days and muscle regeneration at seven to 21 days. HBO increase reactive oxygen species ROS and RNS. And ROS and RNS promotes VGF. So we hypothesize HBO promotes VGF increase in entire cell proliferation, angiogenesis and muscle regeneration by ROS and RNS. With the lighter, VGF increased at three hours in the HBO groups. We investigated in serial cell proliferation. We counted double positive cells shown by white arrow. In that time course, in the HBO group, the peak of proliferation seemed to be at one day. Proliferating in the serial cells increased in the HBO group at one day after confusion. On account in the HBO group, the immature vessel increased at three days and the mature vessel increased at five and seven days after confusion. This is time course of angiogenesis and the muscle regeneration in our study. We used an ROS and RNS, in, RNS inhibitor, NAC, and the RNS inhibitor, LNA. And they investigated the influence of the inhibitors. Under RNS inhibition, VGS, VG, uh, VGS was, was suppressed at three hours and six hours after contusion. Under RNS inhibition, the number of proliferating endothelial cells decreased compared to the HBO group at one day. On count, under RNS inhibition, the number of both immature and the mature vessel was suppressed compared with the HBO groups. In summary, inhibition of RNS suppressed the effects of HBO on angiogenesis. That indicated RNS works as one signal on angiogenesis. Athletes in the Olympic Games.
In Japan, HP4 Athlete during the Olympic Games was experienced in Nagano in 1998. In London, Olympic Games in two, uh, 2012, three Japanese football athletes received to HBO at the HBO facility in London. In Rio, Olympic Games in 2016, we Japanese team got 12 gold, 8 silver, and 21 bronze, 41 medals in total. In Rio, uh, we had a HBO medical support team, which uh, consisted from three institutes, Japanese Institute for Sports Science, GISS, Toshiba Hospital and our hospital. In these three institutes for Rio Olympic Games, 48 Olympic candidate athletes and a total of 66 athletes were treated by HBO. In these 48 candidate athletes, six gold medalists, six silver medalists, and seven bronze and 19 sports were treated by HBO. In a hospital, the patient number was around 150 to 200, and the number, of, uh, the HBO number was around 650 to 850 a year. Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games was postponed due to the uh, COVID-19. However, we prepared the games at the same period in 2021, next year. Our hospital is located six kilometers from the Olympic Village and is selected as the designated hospital for athletes and the team officers. This is a polyclinic in the uh, in Olympic Village in Tokyo 2020, and I am a clinical chief of polyclinic. I now struggle for preparation for body clinic every day. I look forward to sharing the exciting Olympic and Paralympic times with you all next uh, next year. Obrigado. Thank you very much for your attention.